Hello, this is Scotty McCoy. I am the author of the Ultimate Friday the 13th Trivia Book, and I'm also doing another book titled The Ultimate Slasher Movie Encyclopedia, and I am interviewing the cast members of Friday the 13th, and I currently have on the phone with me Vince Coupon, who played the street urchin in Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. Hi, Vince. How are you doing? Very good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, so I have a couple questions for you. So um, the first question I have for you is, uh, how did you get your start in the industry? Um, I guess I got started in this industry. I was a gymnast, and uh, they called my gymnastics center needing um, a gymnast to audition for a commercial. I guess it was a, an acting management company. And me and my whole team went down for fun to audition for this uh, commercial. It was a... Uh, vitamin commercial or something um and then um i was like okay we got a call back for it and then i i ended up not getting it but the agency asked if i still wanted to audition for other projects and jobs and whatnot and um i said mm. yeah and then they sent me out on uh, other auditions that's really cool i always wanted to be in the acting industry but i always was afraid of forgetting my lines <laughs> I guess uh, actors worry about that at night too. Yeah, that yeah. is true. <laughs> so, um, when Jason Jason lifted his mask and your character ran, uh, what did you actually see under the mask that was omitted from the film? It was horrible. I can't even describe it to you. No, no, it was uh, just, <laughs> that part is really not covered um, at all. So it's just the actor's actual face. Okay. But. What the way they designed that is to have the hockey mask, and it almost had, from what I remember, like a uh, like a like a black screen uh, right behind the eye openings and the rest of the detail. That way, when you're looking at the mask, it almost just like fades the black behind it, but you can you can see through it, like well, almost like a sunscreen window screen. You know, okay. so his vision was a little obscured when he's wearing the mask, but he can still see, you know, have depth perception and see where he's going. But it was just the uh, actor's regular face as he would lift it. And uh, at the end, when we did so many takes, and at the end, he would just make a couple of funny faces when he was, like, lifting the mask just, you know, uh, <laughs> to throw us off and whatever, you know. So uh, and all in good shits and giggles. <laughs> so uh, what was your experience like filming uh – so were there any citizens like of New York City trying to meet the cast or crew of the film during your scene? And I guess so. How were the citizens held back from interfering with the production of the film? Well, I mean, they had a good AD team, you know, their assistant director team, like, have a lot of, like, they do their lockups, you know, so there's a lot of PDs trying to uh, politely quadrant people off. Um, I think shooting that scene took a long time because of all the cars that were, you know, driving down in traffic and on a Friday night at, I don't know, two in the morning, so technically Saturday morning. Right. Um, you know, a lot of people coming out of the bars and clubs that are, like, you know, leaning out cab windows and yelling, hey, it's Jason, and, you know, like, so, uh, you know, trying to get their, you know, their waving to camera when, when they're just supposed to be cars, you know, uh, blurred in the background. So um, it got a lot of attention, a lot of people seeing that it was Jason, you know, um, you know, of cars that are trying to drive by, whether people in the back of cabs or people, you know, going back to the suburbs from a night out in the city. But, um, right. you know, yeah, it was a lot of, uh, not as much, not as much on foot from where, from where I was standing, but I was in the middle of the set. So on the perimeter is, I'm sure that uh, the PAs had a lot of, had their work cut out for them, I'm sure. <laughs> I bet. So the last question I have for you, uh, can you please uh, provide readers any details about any future projects you are working on that you'd like to tell them about? Um, well, I mean, stuff I have in the works right now, I'm really like, not at liberty to talk about contractually. Uh, but, you know, you can, re you can look on my IMDb page and see all my, you know, previous bodies of work. And I've, you know, uh, I definitely love the horror genre. And, you know, I've gone to, um, you know, executive produce a couple of horror films, you know, out of Mexico and Argentina. Uh, and some really good content that you could, you could find, um, you know, on, on Netflix now, you know, so right. uh, if you look at my IMDb page, you'll, you'll see a body of work on there uh, in the horror genre that people can look at. And there's a couple of other uh, films that will come out in the horror genre as well. Awesome. I'll definitely I'll put that in my book. And um, anybody that wants to see what you're up to, they can look at your IMDb page. Great. Well, very nice talking to you. It was nice talking to you, too. Thank you very much for making time for the interview. You're most welcome. Take care. All right. Yep, you too.
To hear the rest of my interview with Vince Capone, who played the street urchin in Friday the 13th Part 8 Jason Takes Manhattan, you can order the Ultimate Slasher Movie Encyclopedia. To find out when the Ultimate Slasher Movie Encyclopedia is for sale, you can like my Facebook fan page at www.facebook.com slash smccoyauthor.